Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to talk about live 4K TV broadcasts. There's a lot of misinformation out there in regards to what content is 4K and how to get it. In this video, I'll talk about where the 4K content is and when we may see it on live TV. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. So one of the main selling points of new TVs is 4K. It's been this way for a few years now, yet the fact remains there is very limited 4K content out there in terms of live TV broadcasts. Sure, you'll find 4K through on-demand services like Netflix, Hulu, and even YouTube, I film in 4K. But what about live TV broadcasts? As many of you know, there's a new TV standard launching in the United States known as ATSC 3.0 or Next Gen TV. One of the most promising features is the ability to broadcast 4K content over the air. A lot of people assume if their area has Next Gen TV broadcasts that the TV stations are 4K or at least have better picture quality than the current 1.0 broadcasts. If you're one of them, you are about to be disappointed. We are still in the very, very early launch phase of Next Gen TV. Besides one paid over the air TV service in Idaho, there aren't any live 4K broadcasts over the air for a few reasons. First, the Next Gen signals in a given market have to coexist with ATSC 1.0 signals for at least five years. This leaves very limited bandwidth for TV stations to increase their picture quality. In fact, a next-gen signal might have lower picture quality if there are multiple HD channels shoved on a single RF channel. This will change once ATSC 1.0 is shut off and bandwidth frees up. While the new next-gen TV standard is more efficient to the point you can have multiple HD channels on a single RF frequency, there simply isn't enough wiggle room for TV stations to go 4K right now. You can find out if there are any next-gen TV broadcasts in your area by going to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look for the next-gen logo. There's also a list of next-gen TV stations by market at rabbitears.info. I attached a link to the list in the description of this video. You will need a new tuner in order to pick up next-gen TV stations. A new tuner does not necessarily mean a whole new TV set. Silicon Dust makes the HD Home Run Connect 4K, which has two next-gen tuners built in. Other standalone tuners will be available for purchase in the coming months and years. Another reason we aren't really seeing any 4K yet is the cost. Some people think all a TV station has to do is flip a switch and bam, they're 4K. It's not exactly like that. Virtually every piece of equipment has to be upgraded. The cameras, the editing software, the encoders, the decoders, and so on and so forth. This costs a lot of money and takes time. How long, you ask? Probably several years. Think back to when ATSC 1.0 launched in the 90s. While there were TV stations broadcasting the new digital signal, we did not see HD in major markets until several years later. Smaller markets didn't upgrade to HD until over a decade later. I predict that TV networks will start to broadcast certain programs in 4K within a few years. Because of the limited bandwidth from both ATSC 3.0 and ATSC 1.0 broadcasting in a given market, the 4K content may only be available over a cable, satellite, or streaming service at first. I also don't see true 4K right away, but rather upconverted 1080p HD. This was the case with the soup. I almost said the word the big game on Fox last year. While the picture size was technically 4K, most of the cameras were HD and upconverted. While the United States is progressing towards live 4K broadcasts, we simply are not here yet. The FCC repack combined with the five-year simulcast requirement for ATSC 1.0 really shrunk bandwidth. Back when ATSC 1.0 launched in the late 90s, each TV station was assigned a completely separate frequency. This allowed them to go high definition without impacting their main analog signal or other stations in the market. This is not the case with 3.0. Most markets only have one single RF channel hosting all of the next-gen signals. There simply is not enough bandwidth for broadcasters to launch 4K right away. 
When 4K is available over the air down the road, there is a small chance that some networks may charge for it. As I covered in previous videos of mine, the new ATSC 3.0 Next Gen TV standard allows multiple layers and encryption. We will start to see paid over the air TV services as years go on. I personally predict some cable networks like ESPN as a paid subchannel on ABC stations. I can also see some networks offering a free low bitrate broadcast of their main channel and then a 4K option for a monthly fee. Now don't freak out, what I just said is merely speculation. There's a chance all networks will make their 4K broadcast free over the air. It's just that if I was a greedy multi-billion dollar media company and continued to lose retransmission fee revenue from when people went to antennas and stopped paying for cable and satellite, how would I make my money back? Hmm, I guess we'll find out. So to break it down, live 4K broadcasts aren't here quite yet. Be patient, they will be here at some point. I understand a lot of you have purchased new 4K TVs and a lot of you probably thought that you were getting 4K TV over the air or with your cable and satellite service. Don't listen to them. If your cable or satellite service is saying you're getting 4K, they're probably just up converting the picture. Here's an example. This is an HD picture on a 4K set, so you can see it's kind of small, there's space here. They just blow it up like this, so yeah, I guess you could say it's 4K, but it's just kind of like blowing up a small picture. It's not true 4K, so just keep that in mind. There will be true 4K down the road, but first they're going to say in 4K, and it's just going to be again the HD blown up to 4K. If you want to learn more technical details about ATSC 3.0 Next Gen TV, including whether or not you need an internet connection to access the new signals, I attached a video playlist in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching my YouTube video. A huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to support the YouTube channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad-free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man, or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting antenna related videos in 4K, unlike the live TV broadcasts you think are 4K, and have an awesome day.